Well, officially, police won't say, but unofficially, they are investigating Rosie Tapia's unsolved murder with vigor. This after new information seen here first on ABC4 revealed possible persons of interest. They've never been interviewed by Salt Lake City Police, and it appears that that's changing now. For every crime, there's a story, and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Salt Lake City Police has never closed the cold case murder of Rosie Tapia. They claim they'll pursue any new information that comes their way. Officially, they won't talk about those tips, but it does appear they're following the justice files. It all focuses on Rosie Tapia's bedroom window. In 1995, she's kidnapped while sleeping. Her mother claims back then police don't believe it. They didn't think she was kidnapped. She, they thought she just climbed out the window and wandered off. And falls into the nearby canal. But after finding her body, police realize she's also a victim of a sexual assault. Last week, ABC4 discovers Danny Woodland, who before Rosie's murder, uses the same bedroom window to pay Rosie's older sister a late night visit. Well, I knew my girls always snuck in people through the window, but... Um, I really didn't know who was sneaking in the window. But when the recent composite appears first on ABC4, Woodland sees the resemblance of a friend who also knows of the window. But was he aware of the window? Well, yeah, yeah. They saw me knock on it, climb in it. Did he ever go through that window as far as you know? Uh, not, not that I recall, to be honest with you. Did he ever visit Rosie's apartment? I mean, the Tapia's apartment? Um, yeah, I believe he, he went with me. The family's private investigator says this latest information has the attention of Salt Lake City's police. They've always believed and maintained that uh, Rosie's suspect was likely someone related or associated to the family. Jensen says the department's hierarchy, including the police chief, are in contact with him about this information. He says they request pictures of the two possible persons of interest picked from a photo lineup by one of Rosie's sisters and another witness who helps develop the latest composite. This one, I think uh, they've taken a particular shine to it because it fits their, their model of their, their person of interest. The private investigator says it's not just one detective that's investigating this latest information. In his words, it's, quote, a whole team. We'll continue to follow this on social media and here on ABC4. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.